to some more Dragon Blaze. So yeah, you guys do know I'm going to be starting back the community tier list when I get the chance. But you guys know that I'm working now, so I don't have as much time as I used to. But hopefully we can get it back on track. I don't think there's going to be a lot of like, people helping me as much as they were. But hey, we'll get it done somehow. Alright, so we have coupons here that I just used like a few minutes ago. They do work. You just gotta basically tap here. Then once it takes you to the please install thing, you just tap on OK and it just takes you back and open the game once again. So yeah, nothing too crucial. Okay, logger rewards. Set upon logging in after maintenance. Okay. And it seems like we're getting a new raid. Card Soldier events. So this is going to be a raid event. That you can earn. Oh, you can earn infinity cards off of. Of the three infinity cards you can earn. And here are the possibilities inside of the chests you can get. So you have a 20% chance of getting 10 Transcendent, Ep Transcendent Essence. 13% for 20 Transcendent Essence. 6% for 40 transcend since and double S ally for 10%, triple double S allies for 3%, and then there is soul summons for 2, and that's 1%. Jesus Christ, that's, that's pretty low for the souls. And the shoes are 22%. And the tickets are twenty two percent also and coins are thirty or three percent. Okay. So we'll have the exchange shop. Okay, so it's gonna be exactly like the um, ROB event, but no Golden Dragon event, I think. That had like the um, sage accessories, I think. Which boss did we have for that? I'm pretty sure it was Golden Dragon for like the sage accessories but you anyway, yeah pretty much you just keep fighting the boss and you'll get like fragments to where you can put it in here and then you will just basically summon it from there so which is pretty nice so just basically auto farm raid trust me people will carry you through it unless it's like really difficult all right so russian roulette will is coming back also Nani. Oh, it still has um alternative summons. For those um cards. Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened to that black screen. Uh oh, they took gold off. I wish there was a lot of gold on here. I would personally take it over um Transcended Essence right here. But then again, I guess a lot of people do need transit essence. Ooh, great space monster is coming by. So I have not gotten a chance to participate in this event because I keep forgetting that it's even the thing on a day it's supposed to, you know, go off. So every Friday around like 10 or 11 to 12, this goes off, but yet I never remember. So hopefully I can remember this time and I'll just put in like a timer but also my times are eastern time when I say that okay Momo's little box is back for the um, whales and special event log in and get two fairies okay I forgot what those two do now I think about it Okay, so new package for exalted special ends increased. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that ends. I was confused about why it didn't say end and what it was increasing. But yeah, it's pretty much small updates. I'm interested to see what the card soldier is and how difficult it is. I feel like it's going to be, like, extremely difficult. 
But anywho, I want to try and get Anubis card. Because I do want to build him. Let's see if we get lucky. Nope, not on that one. Here's the luck. Anything? And no. Ah, uh, well, it feels bad. Well, we tried. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that. Why not? Game. Come on. There you go. We are really looking forward to a lot of the events that are going to be coming by. Also, back to the whole tier list thing. It is still going to be on my site. My uh, custom site that I made off uh, Wix. So if you guys want to see the tier list that everybody has voted on up to this point. It is still there. But not all the characters are there. Since we're pretty much like really far in to like the, um, you know, the affinities and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue for everybody to vote. For like transcendent characters, if they're worth, you know, getting to affinity. Or, well, no, not worth getting to affinity. I want to say, because we don't have that on tier list, it should be easy for them to cap out where they're going to be most useful for. They could be more useful in PVE, PVP, in a certain raid, stuff like that. That's basically what our tier list is going for. It's not going to be like, hey, build this whole team for this is going to be basically telling you guys if this character is good for this area and you yourself will be able to build a team based off that instead of you know everybody just building the same thing which is really boring for a certain tier list to do that you know that's kind of why i chose to do the whole community tier list thing just so everybody can vote and help out new players that come into the game so they won't have to ask the question who should I build why should I build this who's the highest priority because infinity cards are all over the place infinity cards literally make this game pretty much random RNG and you can't build or dedicate yourself to building a certain character just because there's so many infinity cards and it's basically based on luck of building that character. You can literally spend like a year trying to find, you know, this just that one character. Literally, I'm looking for Margaret. But here's the thing. Margaret's barely going to pop up. And I need two of her to even build her. You see what I'm saying? I haven't even gotten one. So that's the difficulty of, you know following somebody else's tier list and stuff like that that basically makes you build like a certain team it's not going to be as easy and simple as everybody would want it to be or think it should be at least until we you know get up into impact and you know start farming a little bit more <laughs> i'm laughing but i'm crying inside but yeah <laughs> Pretty much just helping you guys understand that literally infinity cards are basically based on what you, you know, are going to aim for. So you could literally just ask, hey, is this character worth building because I have infinity cards for it? Transcendents need two infinity cards to turn them exalted. Because the transcendents go from overlord, then exalted from overlord. So do remember that. Exalteds can go straight into Affinity and Overlords can go straight into Exalted. So you only need one for Overlords to make them Exalted and Exalteds and up are pretty much the strongest that you'll need. Um, trying to use Transcendence and Overlords is going to be tricky considering that everybody's going to be 
pretty much decked out. Good luck in PvP if you want to try and use Transcendence or Old Lord there, because most people are going to have Exalted and Infinities. And plus, they're going to be outscoring you as well if you're trying to use Transcendence and Overlords. So yeah, Exalteds and Infinities are the most important ones that you want to stop around. But Infinity, yeah, you want to keep, you know, adding on and plussing that up. Yeah, that's just a little bit of handy tips that I wanted to hand down to a lot of new players who have been, you know, asking a lot of questions, been wanting to know who is worth building it's really impossible for us to just straight up tell you who to build and who to focus on i know i said this in the last video but it it needs to be you know imprinted into your mind because it does because it does um need to be known and spread around to new players who come into the game and also, if you guys have 6,000 um, rubies here, you can get um, Anubis. And an affinity card of him. Like, that's actually pretty pretty good at offer, to be honest, if you guys have these uh, discount tickets as well. And I do plan on building Anubis, but I might just do that by hand, to be honest. I mean, I think I have another rogue in here somewhere. If I don't, I'll just make one. Just get up there. Oh yeah, I did get a um, infinity card for Mika. I'm not sure if I'm going to build Mika, but you know. Hey, I just might. Because I like Mika. But anyway, stop, stop sidetracking. I'll see you guys on the next one. Into the peace out. <laughs>